Oh, look at his legs. Come on, little buddy. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yes. What's up, guys? It's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors. And today, we're going to be doing something I have not done before. A couple weeks ago was my birthday, and I got an incubator, and I was so excited to hatch eggs in it. I ordered some quail eggs from Amazon, and they got in a couple weeks ago. I didn't think about filming, so I put them in the incubator, and it's a few weeks later, and they have one day to go, and we got some um, movement on them, so I'll turn the camera around and show you that. So here's my incubator. It's working really good. I have it at 61 humidity because there's one day left. And I have a duck egg, two chicken eggs, and a dozen quail eggs in there. I hope you can see that. And then, so I got those eggs in there and then a couple Days later, um, Rustic Woodwork and family, he also sent me some quail eggs because he, we notified him that I was trying to hatch some and he has some quail. You guys can go check him out. There's his YouTube card. He sent me some quail eggs and I borrowed a, another incubator from a friend, as you can see down there. And he sent me quite a bit, so thank you so much, rest of the Eddie family. And and you can go check them out. And you can also go check out Walker Farm Fam. They sent me this hat. That's such a great channel. I watch them all the time. They they have a bunch of chickens, turkeys, and they're just fun to watch. So this incubator. It has, um, I think 32 quail eggs in it. It has six days left. And this incubator's been working pretty good. But the exciting part of today's video, so as you can see, I have a dozen quail eggs there. And I came home from school, and this here quail egg is pit, pit, pit. It has a little hole in it and you can hear it. <laughs> hmm. I don't hear it on that one. And then I left it for a couple hours and I came back and this one had a piece of shell off of it. So and then one of my chicken eggs, you can hear it. Just listen. <laughs> Well, he's not necessarily keep, keeping. Really, I don't. I don't know what these words are. I said peeping. I think that's the correct word to use, but you can hear it kind of squeaking some. <laughs> this is my duck egg. It's candling really good, but it should hatch in seven days now. I think eight or se seven or eight. The duck eggs take 28 days to hatch. I wish this chicken egg, you guys probably think I'm crazy, but it did it just earlier. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna do it, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a time lapse up and you guys can watch these guys hatch. Hopefully, all um, these two Quail eggs will make it. I think all the other ones are mostly empty, empty, but um, when we candle them, but I wanted to give them a chance just in case. So let's see how it goes.
it's the next day, and as you guys saw from the time lapse, we had two chicks hatch. We had one quail and one chicken egg hatch, and we have two more that I think may make it, but maybe not. So let's take these guys out and have a look at them. Here's a little chicken. Woody, no. Woody. You want him? Hey, you have to be nice. Woody, Woody likes chickens. He, he doesn't hurt them. It's a little chicken. I wonder if he's a boy or a girl. Hopefully it's a, it's a hen. And what I'm most excited about is The little quail, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. It doesn't look like it's very tiny, but it's a little small. Here. What do you First thing I can find, here's an next to a little Hot Wheel. I caught him. He's okay. Yeah, he's a little small. Little tiny guy. So that's really exciting. Hopefully we will have two more here in a couple hours, if not tomorrow. So stay tuned. Oh, one of our eggs is starting to hatch. Oh, there, one is wing. See it in there? Yeah. Are you excited? I yeah. turned that light off. Ah, oh. <laughs> just playing. Are you excited? Is that going to be your favorite one? Because it's going to lay blue eggs. Yeah. Yeah. The other quail chick and the other chicken's doing good. And this other quail is about to hatch. I'm real excited. I'll make sure to film it when it starts to come out. What? No. Leave him alone. Hey, why you gotta be so mean to my chicken? Johnny, you wanna move that chicken? <laughs> that quail. <gasps> oh, oh, ah! Uh, he's he so close. I think he needs a oh. hot well to help him. No, we can't help him. We have to help him. Unless we have to, we can help him. But we don't have to. He's doing it on his own right now. Yeah, if he doesn't make it hatch. Keep like me this. Flap your wing. Arr. He's just a little guy. He needs to flap He's just a little guy. He needs to learn. Ah, he's <laughs> stop. It's one more big, big push. Come on, number two. One more what? Big, big push. Well, camera. Hey. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's coming. I see his big tummy. Oh, he flipped over. Oh, there's his head. Oh, there's his head. Yes. I hope he's not dead. He's not dead. It's I don't see that. Oh, let's open it. He was trying to get out of that egg, and he's wet. Come on. What should we name him? The chicken. Mm. He sure is sleepy. Let's just name him Sleepy. Okay, we'll name him Sleepy. How are we going to name the quail? I don't know. Slowpoke? <laughs> no, just name him Fastpoke. Fastpoke? <laughs> yeah, is he fast? Mm, I don't know. Now let's call him Flash. Okay, let's call that other one Flash. What do you want to call this one? Oh, he's about to get out. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see his little legs. Oh. oh. I might need to pull that egg off. Nope, he can get it himself. You have to let him do it. He's taking a rest right now. He's a tired little fella. Oh, now he's woke up. Oh, look at his legs. 
Come on, little buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Let's go, him. A hatcher. No. That one, the white one. We already decided. Roger? No. Oh, he got out. But he's oh, don't get in that water. Yeah, we're going to have to move him away from that water, okay? Yeah, but you might need to do that. Okay, hold the camera. Point it at Bubba. Can I film my face? Can I film? Kind of Hey, he's got a little egg. Hopefully he can warm up. I need to eat some of his egg, and then he'll be good. See you here in a minute. See you here in a minute. Uh, okay, so now we have two quail and one chicken. That one, it can stay in the um, incubator for a while. But I think it's time for these two to get out of here. So AJ's got a little planting pot. So we're going to set them in there. Real fast. Yeah, and let me set one in there. Okay, one second. I gotta set the camera up. Here, uh -huh. you hold the pot. Okay? But I wanna grab one. Here's our little guy that just hatched a couple minutes ago. He's down there. Hey, no, buddy. No! Where'd he go? Can I carry the little one? Yep. You can put him in the bucket. Yep. I thought you were. Can I carry the big one? Yeah. Okay, here. Be real careful. Put them in there. Okay, one second. Let me shut the incubators so the other eggs can hatch. There, we got our two chicks. And they're fighting. They aren't fighting. We have our two chicks in the bucket. Now let's walk them out to the shop where our brooder is. Do not jump out, chickies. We gotcha. Do we need to jump them in there or set them in there? I'll set them in there. I'll set the little one in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is our setup. We got a little tub. Eventually, once they get bigger, we'll have to put some chicken wire, but this will work for now. We got a heat lamp. It's nice and warm. And we got there some starter that will work perfect. And then we got some water, so. And then, most important part. Yep. We got our chicks. Yep. Okay, and so now I'm grabbing the big one. Okay, you can grab the big one. I'll grab the little coil. Oh, I like the night is split. Yep, do that one. Set them in there, don't squeeze them. Good job. Well, oh. we'll take their little weeks. And just oh, he's just in the water. We'll barely put him in the water, so they know where the water is. There you go, buddy. Oh. Okay, there's that little buddy. He's eating the cherries. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's been four days since I've started to make this video, and I came home today to a big surprise. As a recap, in this incubator, I had 12 eggs, quail eggs from Amazon, and two eggs from our chickens, and one of the duck egg that still hasn't hatched yet, but it should hatch in a couple days. So as for now, for quail, I have four chicks and I have one chicken. So four out of the 12 hatched from Amazon. And as I said, I came home to a big surprise in this incubator, the eggs from Rustic Woodwork, five quail hatch. So that's really awesome. I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna let it um, stay warm in there, but I'll try to um, show you from the viewing window. There's three of them in there. There's a glare. Oh. 
three, four, five. Yes, and that one's moving right there. But that is not the end of the video. We're gonna wait until all the eggs are hatched, and maybe you guys will get to see the duckling if it hatches. Hopefully it will. Oh, that one pecked his foot. What's up, guys? Hey, we already did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the next day, five days after we started this video. And today, what are we going to be doing? Moving quails. We're going to move the rustic woodwork chicks yeah. to the brooder. I think the last time I counted them, they're hatching continuously. There was five, 15 chicks, I mean. So there's a lot of quail. Uh -huh. Are you ready to start moving them? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Look at all those quail. Yeah. Okay, so got our muffin container. It'll work good to, so no, it's not you have to count them. It. Yep, one. Just grab one. Don't squeeze them, buddy. Two. Three. Five. Oh. <laughs> you think you're going, Clay? I don't know. Oh, there went one. Oh. <laughs> okay, don't spin them back. <laughs> we'll have to find a different container. You're jumping out of that one. Woody's interested. Get back, Woody. We got a new box. Pop can box. Hopefully, they can't jump out of this one. One, two, three, My turn. four, five. Oh, they're fighting. No, they aren't fighting. They're just on top of each other. Hey! 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 Yes. Oh, look at all them guys. Yep. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay. Empty. All three. Empty. 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 Oh, Look at all those empty eggs. All of these have hatched. These are the ones that haven't hatched. Looks like a couple of them will hatch though. No. Let's go take these out to the shop. Okay, so we're here at the brooder. Here's the other four. I hatched from Amazon and my chicken. Little guy. Man, got the four quail. These guys are fast. <laughs> okay, let's count these as we put them in there. Woodwork and family eggs. There was 19 chicks. Some must have hatched under over the night because there was 15 when I went to bed. And counting the four from Amazon, there's 23 quail. Isn't that awesome, AJ? Yeah, but can I smash this box? No, we're gonna use it to transport the other quail when they're hatched. So. I think a couple more from the rustic woodwork and family or eggs are gonna hatch. So we'll keep you updated and see what happens. It's been about a week since we started this video. We're here with the quail. I think everything is in my incubator is done hatching. So it's finally time to close this video off. But first I'm gonna show you the quail and how big they're getting. So here's the little ones. Most of the little ones came from rustic woodwork. And then that one, that one, that one. All the bigger ones came from the Amazon eggs. Like this one that's already getting feathers. This guy's almost as big as a chicken. No, it's not this guy. Only there. See? He's almost as big as a chicken. Huh? So they're growing fast. From the eggs from Amazon and the rustic woodwork family, 
from Amazon, I think I have four chicks hatch. And from Rustic Woodworking Family Eggs, I had 24 hatch. So make sure to go check out Rustic Woodworking Family. It was really nice of them to send me some eggs, and I enjoyed hatching them. I think that I'm going to build a new coop for them. We need to build a coop for them so they can keep separate from the chickens. But for now, I'll let them grow up in here for a couple weeks, and then I have a cage up there that'll work for um, a couple more weeks, and we'll try, try to build a coop that will withstand them and they'll have enough space to move around freely and it'll be good hopefully it'll start laying eggs we'll film all of it and hopefully we can make a video of building the coop so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up go down there ring the notification bell like share and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you next video